ఈ ఏడాది భారత ఆర్థిక వృద్ధి తొమ్మిది పాయింట్ రెండు ఏడు శాతం ఉంటుందని కేంద్ర ఆర్థిక శాఖ మంత్రి నిర్మలా సీతారామన్ తెలిపారు ఇవాళ ఆమె లోక్సభలో రెండు వేల ఇరవై రెండు ఇరవై మూడు బడ్జెట్ ప్రవేశపెట్టారు ఈ సందర్భంగా ఆమె ప్రసంగిస్తూ పౌరుల కేంద్ర సంస్కరణలు చేపట్టేందుకు ప్రభుత్వం పట్టుదలతో ఉందన్నారు I want to take a moment to express my empathy for those who had to bear adverse health and economic effects of the pandemic. The overall sharp rebound and recovery of the economy is reflective of our country's strong resilience. India's economic growth in the current year is estimated to be 9.2%, highest among all large economies. I recognize we are in the midst of an Omicron wave with high incidence but milder symptoms. Further, the speed and coverage of our vaccination campaign has helped greatly. With an accelerated improvement of health infrastructure in the past two years, we are in a strong position to withstand challenges. I am confident that with Sabka Prayas, we will continue our journey with strong growth. Honorable Speaker, we are marking Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsab and have entered into Amrit Kaal, the 25-year-long lead-up to India at 100. Honorable Prime Minister in his Independence Day address had set out the vision for India at 100. By achieving certain goals during Amrit Kaal, our government aims to attain this vision. They are complementing the macroeconomic level growth focus with a microeconomic level all-inclusive welfare focus, promoting digital economy and fintech, technology-enabled development, energy transition, and climate action, and relying on virtuous cycles starting from private investment with public capital investment, helping to crowd in private investment. Since 2014, our government's focus has been on empowerment of citizens, especially the poor and the marginalized. Measures have included programs that have provided housing, electricity, cooking gas, and access to water. We also have programs for ensuring financial inclusion and direct benefit transfers. We are committed to strengthening the abilities of the poor to tap all opportunities. Our government constantly strives to provide the necessary ecosystem for the middle classes, a vast and wide section which is populated across various middle income brackets to make use of the opportunities they so desire. This budget seeks to lay the foundation and give a blueprint to steer the economy over Amritkal of the next 25 years, from India at 75 to India at 100. It continues to build on the vision drawn in the budget of 21-22. Its fundamental tenets, which included transparency of financial statement and fiscal position, reflect the government's intent, strengths, and challenges. This continues to guide us. The initiatives of the last year's budget have seen significant progress and have been provided with adequate allocations in this budget as well.